Alright, you hold down the fort here, Sagacious Zoo, because we got some exploring to do. So we're just outside of Tien's Landing. Why don't we do something about that and actually get inside of Tien's Landing? If you know what I mean. No, that's terrible. So, um... Oh, look, there are three graves right next to our hideout. That's kind of spooky. Not really, actually. Nara ir fonir wonu kanawa ofa ir kanawa wonu. Mother and I are getting out of this town. If you have any sense, you'll do the same. Akwakwak wo so soni a sona fonia sisa ya nawakuk. Sisa ya ifuk wo so no koso a yer ya. Sayer kanawa fwaranu yer. It's sure to be more exciting than this dead place. Koniok yo we a kawa ye wo kawa ye watita o si ya kwanif ni pa wiya. Pia ye uksa ye sinini si sa ye rusta atapafa we a sumpu no ko su ye to we rok. Ukir Nepo, Sise Sayer, Wosayer, Wosayer, Nifuir. Sisayer, if folk Woso no Koso Ayeria, Sayer Kano of Waranuir. Woo yo wear Apafawa year, Sisier, Sisi to the talk. Woo wear walk walk finier seer. Akwakwak wo so soni a son of fonia sisa yer nawakuk. Wo wo tawa yer kupir kawir nakawir ipduki. Those pirates must be Gao the Greater's men. We know that he has holdings near here, and he has flyers. Pia yer uksa yer sinini sisa yer rusta atapafa wir sumpuno ko suir toeruk. Si sayer ye folk woso no koso ayer ya. Sayer kano of waranu ir. Pa wo yer astir wo sayer if a sayer wo kawi shir. Koni o kio e kawa e o kawa e watita o si a kwanif ni pa wia. Well, I'm sure we'll never be seeing them again. Of course not. So they just gave us a new mission about the Great Dam. Be hearing about this dam a lot, but we gotta go talk to Minister Shang about it. We'll take care of that in a minute. We gotta head up here first, cause something important's gonna happen. Sort of. Out of our way, woman. In this town, we don't step aside for you. You step aside for us. The peasants of this village may cower before you, but I do not. If you are smart, you will apologize for your behavior and walk away. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> you think I won't hit a woman? You have to learn your place. This whole town has to learn its place. What are you looking at? This doesn't concern you. <laughs> Time to teach you all a lesson. Legendary strike. Oh! Well, the sailors here are kind of dicks. Well, that's a pretty neat style you've got there, lady. So these sailor guys are really nothing special. They don't really know anything terribly unique about anything. So let's give them the old one-two with this ice shard. Oh, I'm totally gonna get you. Oh, Like we just immediately comes out of it, goes right back to his poking attacks. Uh, she sure is inaccurate with that mysterious style of hers. She hasn't hit, like, anything with it. Whoa! Uh, whoa, okay. 
Oh, Donstar died. All right. What a surprise. She just can't hit anybody. <laughs> That's great. I don't even know why she's using that style. It's not like it benefits her in any way. Whatever, we won. I was back at the camp when I heard the sounds of battle. I got here as fast as I could, though obviously I arrived too. Hui, what are you doing here? It's been a long time, Zhu. I haven't seen you since that night. I did as you asked. The child is safe. I made sure of that. I know. After we spoke, I followed you. I... I wanted to be sure she was given a good home. You did well, Hui. Hui and I knew each other long ago. She was a soldier and I... I needed her help. There was a child. An orphan. I knew Hui could find a good home for her. She was just a girl. Her parents were dead. I couldn't look after her, and I knew Hui by reputation. I knew she would find a good home for her. She's safe. That's all you need to know. She doesn't concern you. Besides, we don't have time to worry about something that happened almost 20 years ago. Yes, those are old worries. Thank you for your actions today. Even if these men were no real threat, just simple sailors frustrated at the shallow river that holds them here. There are pirates in the area, and they pose a far greater danger. You will likely encounter them, especially if you are the one I am waiting for. As Sagacious Zhu mentioned, my name is Hui. Tell me, young man, what is your master's name? I have waited here many years for the arrival of one special fighter. Your master, Sun Li, bid me to wait until you, his protege, came seeking information. So it's true. Master Li really is the Emperor's brother. I wish... I wish I had known. He is gone, isn't he? Taken by the Lotus Assassins just as he thought. He knew they were always searching. They are right to fear him and his legacy. The glorious strategist was certain the path to the Imperial City would bring you here. He was also very specific about how I present my information to you. You must be ready. I served under Sun Li and was one of a few soldiers he trusted enough to contact after Dirge fell. Li knew the events there would have great consequences. He told me of the weeks-long siege and how spirit monks were slaughtered so his brother could take their temple. It was madness. The Emperor killed the Water Dragon itself. The Water Dragon? The Shepherd of the Dead, a goddess of rebirth. To try and steal her power, to even think it could be attempted. Has any mortal ever shown such arrogance? There are many beings that exist beyond our experience. The heavens are governed by a celestial bureaucracy. Each facet of existence is managed by a specialized attendant. Most appear to have little influence, but some, like the Water Dragon, have a portfolio that grants exceptional status. She was said to have governance over the Great Wheel. She was not a maker, but all life that ended passed her gaze before returning to the Earth in another form. Sun Hai sought rebirth for his empire at the cost of the natural order. Her body was taken to the palace as a grim trophy of the power that ended the long drought. All the while, the people hailed the emperor as a hero, ignorant of the price. Even a god is not invincible. They have their place and it can be challenged. Sun Li could not stop the slaughter of the spirit monks. He fled the battle with you in his arms. Most believe Sun Li fell at Dirge, a lie spread by the Emperor. A handful of us knew that he lived, and we also learned the terrible price of his rebellion. 
Lee's wife was with child, his daughter born in the Imperial Palace while he was at Dirge. He never saw her. Within weeks of the siege, the Emperor had Lee's family executed. <laughs> executed? Murdered? The Lotus Assassins were to cut them down. A mother and newborn child. I have no doubt that order came from Death's Hand himself. He probably didn't think his family would be harmed, but even had he known, he might still have saved you. Lee knows you have a destiny to fulfill. You're the last of your kind. The natural order has been disrupted. There is much to say, but first, I was instructed to impart some very specific knowledge. Your master was very clear. You can trust Hui, so I don't think there's any reason for me to stick around. I'll be back at the camp if you need me. Zhu is an honorable man. Not a good man, perhaps, but an honorable one. Now to your training. A brief description will reinforce in your mind the style you saw me use. Certain lessons had to be withheld until you were ready for the attention they will bring. Sun Li taught me so that I would teach you. I must train you in Spirit Thief. Magic and weapons tire you. Draw on them too much and you could be left defenseless. Spirit Thief restores your chi, prolonging your ability to fight or ignore wounds. It is especially useful when enemies are immune to basic martial attacks, when you must use magic or weapons. It can even immobilize a foe, allowing time to recover even more. This short lesson should be enough for now. Come speak with me in the tea house. We will talk of your master and more. Alright, so Hui just taught us a fantastically useful style, Spirit Thief. Gives us a way to regen our chi in a fight. And Dawnstar has got a little arrow on her head. That sometimes means something, but I wonder if it does this time. Hmm. Not sure. Maybe it does. Guess I'll talk to her and find out. I'll see you guys in a second. Up? Oh, no, it didn't. Yeah. So, let's see. I want to map Spirit Thief. I'm going to be using this style quite a bit. Guess I can get rid of Toad Demon. Demon styles are kind of cool, but eh. So there's a tea house here, but let's do a little lap around it quickly. <laughs> Uh, I smell the side quest. Hmm. Nope. We'll do side quests later. For now, let's just come back here and grab a thing. This is an important item for a thing later on. Oh, oh. Alright. Just calmly leap out of the way of that massive explosion and then just keep going. Because that's the kind of guy Furious Ming is. He doesn't have time for traps. <laughs> Four silver. My god. Bountiful treasures abound. Oh, uh, alright. So there is a tea house in this martial arts adventure game. I wonder what could possibly happen inside this tea house. This tea house must be popular. It seems like quite a prominent structure. But uh, all right, <laughs> just teleport over here and let's go inside. Good, you're here. We can continue where we left off before. You've got unfinished business with us first. Oh, there are important matters at hand, yet you fellows keep interrupting. I'm surprised you're this eager to get another beating so soon. This time we brought some friends to even up the odds. Legendary strike. Oh, look, a fight. Well, I know what I must do. I need to kill these men with meat. I'll improvise. <laughs> I'll improvise. So, this is a thing you can do sometimes. There are occasionally weapons you can get in the environment, like these hams. You will taste the sweet defeat of this delicious ham. 
I'm beating this man to death with meat. That's great. Oh god. It's not the only weapon, but whatever. The nice thing about these weapons is they don't take any focus, but they do have health. Oh, Donstar died again. Let's get another one. Let's just destroy this table. And... Uh, no, chairs! No! God! God! Furious Ming. Letting chairs defeat you? Come on. Oh, Donstar's back. Alright. Oh, I leveled up, so she just gets right back. Oh, that's nice. You guys can't stop me. I have these chunks of wood. They're better than your pieces of wood. Yeah. So these particular improvised weapons actually use a style similar to one that we'll be getting later as a real weapon. Alright. This thing is almost gone. Ah, oh, god. Well, I'm almost dead. Why don't we just get out Spirit Thief and do something about that? Well, let's get a reason to use some chi first. There we go. I'm probably gonna mess this up. Oh, look at that. These guys get out of it quicker than the last guys did. So Spirit Thief is pretty neat. Not only will it snatch spirit from dudes, but the power attack will freeze them for a second. This style is obviously helpful if you use lots of magic and healing. Yeah. See, this is how you use Spirit Thief, Hui the Brave. She is like the worst shot ever with this style. And the uh, area attack. If he wasn't blocking, that would have totally drained him, but oh well. Oh, <laughs> alright. I got chunks of wood again. That's great. Who is this guy? It's not even a sailor, what? Whatever. You certainly look like Lee's top student, though there's something odd about how you fight. I can't put my finger on it. It doesn't matter. The sailors won't bother us again. We can get back to business. Sun Lee gave me instructions to await you if... if anything should happen. I have prepared for this day for well over a decade. The full extent of what the glorious strategist knows is beyond my mind to comprehend. He is without peer. All I know is that I had instructions to wait for you. Sun Li asked me to seek a piece of a special amulet he wanted you, his prized pupil, to have. It was broken apart and scattered when the spirit monk temple fell. He intended to, and I assume he did, give the main piece to you. Rumor placed a smaller part with a fleeing apprentice monk, but it had been some years and the trail was cold. I eventually learned the monk had fled to Old Tien's landing. He was there a year or so, but died of lingering injuries and was buried with his possessions unsorted. It was rushed at the time because the new dam was due to close and Old Tien's would become a watery tomb. The amulet was beyond reach, so I came here and waited. Now the Lotus Assassins have drained the lake and exposed the ruins of Old Tien's Landing. It seems they are searching for this piece of the Spirit Monk Amulet, too. Yes, Sun Li intended you to find it. I was to tell you about it if anything happened to him. It was the last order he gave me, and I have waited years to fulfill my duty. I choose to believe that my service was valuable and vital. You would have come here eventually. The amulet would draw you, at least. It is coming on 15 years now. As I said, I learned the location of the amulet after the monk died in Old Tien's. It has been difficult serving and waiting in silence. My assignment is to give you information to help you acquire the amulet. I will gladly answer whatever questions I can. I only know that I had to find the piece I was tracking. I did so. It is in the ruins. You must find it before the Lotus Assassins do. You will need it to help your master.
Pirates have raided local villages using flyers, swooping down like locusts. Minister Shang said he would stop them, but his promises have done nothing. You can find Shang near his still smoldering office in the center of town. I'm sure he will welcome your assistance, even if your reasons are your own. It is said that the water dragon is the shepherd of the dead and a symbol of life and restoration. Beyond that is philosophy and not for a soldier to know. As you see, I know little about the celestial powers. I knew less before Sun Li asked this service of me. I thought such beings were beyond physical assault. I was mistaken. I don't know how the attack was made or what blade could cut the heart from a god, but I do know that any man who would attempt such a plan is arrogant beyond imagining. I am unimportant, but I promised I would aid you as best I can, so ask your questions. There is little to tell. I served him years ago in the Imperial Army. I was a tracker and a soldier. I was not at dirge when it fell, but I heard the tale of Sun Li's death. But I refused to believe he was dead. In time, my faith was confirmed. He sought me out and told me what really happened. I swore my loyalty to him on the spot. I revere him as a teacher and... I revere him. Even when he ordered me to distant lands, my loyalty never wavered. But I am tired. I long for an end to my service. Sun Li is a great man, driven by greater goals and ideals. Sometimes his gaze is lifted so high that he does not see what is right in front of him. We who serve him are sometimes forgotten, left to toil in obscurity until the time to act is thrust upon us. So it was with me, waiting for you. I cannot. I have done my part. I have given Sun Li my loyalty and devotion. Now I am empty. I have nothing left. I see an end to my long service. I welcome it. I will give you what guidance and information I can, but that is all I will do. That would be a question for him, wouldn't it? I can only say that Sun Li devoted his life to raising you to one day right the wrongs in the Jade Empire. If he wanted to keep some small part of his own life and thoughts for himself, who are you to question that? Everyone must have their private side. Remember, go to the ruins and claim the amulet before the Lotus Assassins do. You will need it to survive the trials that lie ahead. Alright, so we now have cause to go into those ruins. People just sit back down. This tea house must have martial arts battles in it like every other day. So, leveled up. Let's do stuff. Uh, yeah. And we got five points this time, so let's make Ice Shard better. Mm, yeah, let's get all three of these. And let's also put some points into Fortune's Favorite, sure. All right. No, I didn't want to press Cancel, though. No. I hate when games default on the Cancel button. So this tea house has got like five side quests in it, I think. Old Mother Quan has gone one. There's some upstairs too. Hey, a jar. What's one more smash thing? Why not? There's a lot of people in here that are involved with another side quest, like this guy. Oh, hey, sailors that didn't want to die. Smart men. This guy's important. And there's an ox over here. Not an ox. An ogre. His name is the Ox Carrier. And the gang tried to make me do a side quest, but I'm not doing it yet. He has to wait for the side quests video. And then there's this man with another side quest. This man as well. There's so many side quests. We'll be doing them later. This is just a teaser. 
Oh, yeah, all right. Let's get out of here. So we gotta go talk to Minister Shang about getting into these ruins, so let's do that. All right, so... Hey, a book stand that I missed somehow. Ah, uh, this is talking about the forest. Forest that we may or may not be going to. Oh. Of course we're going to it. The game wouldn't bring it up if it wasn't someone we're going to visit. It'd be great if it did. It robs some like, really awesome sounding area and you just never go there. But there's a legend about the shadow of the forest of strippers. But you never get to go there. No, I'm just screwing with you. So, Minister Shang is at the very end of this area. Another sailor. God. I like how every sailor has the exact same uniform. Every single one of them. This is bad. Oh, this is bad. River dried up, pirates everywhere. This is worse than the long drought. Yeah, get on with your day, youngster. We're just passing time. <sighs> but I want to eavesdrop on people. Oh, fine. I'll just rob your chest. So let's just head down here. Run straight head first into a cutscene. Pretty. Wo afa we are sun urk von ir uk. Uksi er sa fit kup kup wo sarkir. Put that sword back, lout. Surely there was never a minister as unlucky as Minister Sheng to suffer such insolence. Kuni on you Tashika wheel for your South Araponi? And still, poor Minister Sheng suffers the insults of tradesmen who know nothing of justice. Where would I put the lout? My jail has been burned to the ground, along with my office, I might add. I have no place to put thieves, so stop questioning your betters. Ah, law and order. Yeah. So, let's go talk to Minister Shang. Uh, I would talk to this guy too, but this video is like, long. These are some nice swords. Can't really buy them though. They're display models, they're made of wood. So, yeah. Wood that sounds like metal. Yeah, let's just do this. It is not easy to be Minister Sheng, beset with troubles and doom, and now interrupted by some difficult stranger. But truly, can you not see that I am busy watching my career slide into oblivion? Minister Sheng simply hasn't time for your petty concerns. I have problems of my own. This backwater pimple of a town lives off of the lake created by the Great Dam. But the great dam is open and the lake is dry. The town is dying. Under my supervision. Well, not by me. I cannot act against that horrible assassin Lim who opened the great dam. I'm not supposed to even say his name, but I am desperate for a solution. Lim oversees the Lotus Assassin operations in this area. A few weeks ago, he came to town and demanded a key to the ruins. Then his men went up there and opened the Great Dam. Inquisitor Lim has his assassin searching for something, though what it is I couldn't say. Minister Sheng knows better than to stick his nose in the business of the Lotus Assassins. I didn't want the town to panic, so I kept Lim's presence here a secret. Better the peasants think it was ghosts. A much less terrifying idea. Some brave soul must travel through the old ruins, which are absolutely not infested with ghosts, and close the Great Dam. The gate to the ruins is locked, but I have a key. I cannot order or even ask someone to go do this. If the Great Dam closes, the ruins will flood. 
Various assassins and soldiers will be killed. Not good for my career. But if I happen to lose the key and someone happened to find it, the town could be saved and the problem solved without any sanction from me. Think about what? I don't know what you're talking about. So, stranger, is there anything else Minister Sheng can do for you? Perhaps I could direct you to the historic ruins of our old town, which lie across the footbridge and out the west gate. Certainly a sight worth taking in. Strictly for interest's sake, of course. Minister Sheng remembers when flyers were reserved for the wealthy elite of the Imperial City. Now pirates use them to raid the countryside. Disgraceful. I suppose in theory you could find a flyer at the pirate camp upriver. In practice, however, I doubt you would find the pirates very accommodating. I suppose Rue the Bosun is mad enough to take you if he's drunk. Hmm, yes. Rue is surely the only one who would make the trip, and then the pirates would kill you. Yes, yes, go and leave Minister Shang alone to ponder his troubles. Now go close the great dam, and I never said that. All right, now there's nothing stopping us from going to the ruins, except I'm not going to go there because I have side quests to do. Side quests that I'm not going to show until a little later, because, yeah. As you can see, in a minute, there's a bunch. Look at all these side quests. So next time, we're probably going to go to the ruins, I suppose. Maybe. I don't know. I can't know. Look at all these golden flags. There's so many things on my plate now. I don't even know what I'm going to do with this. All right. See you guys next time. Take care.